This pan is famous. This pan actually gets more potluck party invitations than I do because this is my lasagna pan and I'm very proud of it. There are so many ways to fill it with so many flavors and sometimes an allergen or two, but they're just as easy to take out as they are to put in. So first, lobster lasagna di carnivale. Italian cooks have a grand tradition. Once a year, they craft the very best lasagna they can, and then they fast for 40 days of Lent. Think tradition, think layers, noodles, cheese sauce, tomato sauce, and on this one day, every single layer packed with an extra special twist. And I really like how this tomato sauce goes together. It's basic with a cured pork twist, pancetta, Italian bacon, and prosciutto, Italian ham, browning and crisping and flavoring the olive oil before the onions and garlic saute. Carrots are a great way to add aromatic flavor to any dish. Fairly standard from here though, pureed whole tomatoes, aromatic thyme, a little bit of salt, and this time, lots of extra moisture for the noodles to absorb while they bake. Red wine and tomato juice, a cup or so of each. No lack of flavor here either. This cheese sauce is particularly luxurious too. Normally it's just a couple of cups of mozzarella, some Parmesan and some ricotta. This time it also includes mascarpone. This is a sort of Italian cream cheese and is it ever rich? And now the ricotta. Ricotta traditionally works well because it's so thick. It helps hold together the cheese sauce. And so does an egg. And since this is an extra special lasagna, nothing says celebration like an entire lobster. And I really like fresh basil with lobster. So let's see, lobster basil mascarpone cheese sauce, pancetta prosciutto tomato sauce, no bake oven ready noodles. I love these, they save me so much time, but allergens everywhere, shellfish, dairy, eggs, gluten, even sulfites in the prosciutto. Fact is, many of us cook with allergens without even realizing it, like the mustard in the next extravagant lasagna ingredient. How about some meatballs? I simply stripped a few Italian sausages, and then added grainy mustard and fennel seed and salt for flavor, and an egg and breadcrumbs to hold everything together, half a cup. And then just bake them at 400 degrees for 10 minutes or so until they're cooked through. This is going to be quite a lasagna. A little bit of moisture on the bottom helps keep the noodles from sticky and makes this a lot easier to serve. And remember to save some sauce for the top. All the meatballs, every single one, go in this layer. This might not look like a sauce yet, but once it starts melting, look out. Prosciutto, Italian ham. This will be a nice little flavor bonus right in the middle of the works. Then top off with every last drop of sauce. Two more cups of mozzarella and a cup of Parmesan. And just one more extra special little flavor bonus. Bocconcini, little mozzarella balls. And just one more layer to go. Aluminum foil, lightly oiled though, so it doesn't stick to all this cheese. This will take, oh, an hour or so at 375. About 15 minutes or so before it's done, pull the foil off, give the cheese a chance to brown. Oh, it's good. It's really good. All those layers of flavor in there, and I like that sharp salad on top. 